All right there guys, Neil Lattice Terry Autos here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be doing a rear wheel bearing on an Alfa Romeo Giulietta. Dead easy job, so it shouldn't take more than an hour to do it on your driveway. So let's get cracking, get it up in the air, take the wheel off. Right, so in order to get access to the wheel bearing, we need to remove the brake caliper, the brake mount, and the rear disc. Let's start by undoing the brake disc securing bolt. Always start with that first, because at least you've then got a little bit of the brake caliper gripping it. And now on to removing the caliper itself, which is a 13 mil spanner, and what looks like a 15 mil spanner is needed. Now pop a 15 mil in there, 13 mil on the back. And then just a couple of turns. and then move to the lower one. And take this lower bolt all the way out. Removing the lower bolt first to stop the caliper from swinging down when you undo the bolt. And now the lower one's out, we can remove the top one. Obviously, make sure that your handbrake is not engaged, otherwise you will struggle getting your caliper off. Now, just with a little bit of a pry, this should come off. And then put your pads to one side. The discs on this do actually look as though they need changing. And now the next job is around the back of the caliper where we have two Allen headed nuts, which are always full of mud and crap. So you need to be very careful when undoing these because you can round them off. Now, can't really get a good view in there, so I'll just undo them without you being able to see too much. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Some wise guys had a go at this already. And rounded the nuts off. Yep. As you can see, somebody's already been butchering this. Um, put a new ABS sensor in and snapped the connector off by the look of it and just left the sensor in there like that. That bottom bolt has already started to be undone. I have not touched that. And the top bolt is rounded off. So again, it just so happens for video, you guys have got a best worst case scenario where I've now got to try and get that bolt off. Great fun. So with this, I say I've got two options. I can either weld a nut to it or I can try and hammer in another socket. The problem I've got is access to get a hammer in there, I'd have to drop the exhaust. How easy to drop the exhaust? Quite straightforward, so I'm gonna drop the exhaust to start with and see if I can hammer something on there. So what I've done, I've put a T55 torque socket on the end, and then we're gonna see if we can hammer it in to get it undone. Got it keeps bouncing out because the size difference is a little bit too much. No, that don't want to work. So what I want to try and do is just chew it up a bit more so I can then get that Allen key in here. Is me thinking, oh no, it's only going to be an half an hour job. No, yet again, it strikes again. 
No, I ain't gonna go in that way. I'm gonna have to weld a nut onto it. So I've just put a few welds around it. I'm gonna let that cool down for a minute now and then hopefully it'll just uh, come undone or snap off and I'll have to re-weld it. Right, let's give it a go. Yeah, there we go, look. The heat has actually made it come undone as well. So you can see how much undone that bottom one was. So what I should be able to do now is just pull the mount back and then the disc should just lift out. And for those asking, could you not just pull the disc out with that being left done up? No, you can't. There's not enough room to get it out on these. And now we are left with one wheel bearing to take off. You just need to get the cover out, which might be a bit harder than it seems. And that will reveal a nice 32 mil socket, which you can undo quite easily with an impact gun. And it should just pull off. And there we go, that's the wheel bearing. The new wheel bearing is normally a little bit tighter to fit. Socket to give it a small tap on. I mean, I'm not hitting it heavy at all. On with the washer. On with the new nuts. Which is now a different size, no it isn't. Wheel bearing spins. New cover into position. Another light tap with the locating tool. And now let's start putting it back together. I have also welded up that nut all the way around, which is very hot and burning my hands. So I want to get this in quick. Oh. And there we go, one wheel bearing all done. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and please give me a comment in the video below if you found this video helpful and it saved you some money. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.